up, Bubbles? Welcome, welcome back to the channel or the Patreon. Today we're checking out Percy. Why would the why would the freaking um ad play right when I'm doing the intro? See, this is what I get for not having YouTube Premium. Hold on, y'all. <laughs> uh oh my god, YouTube. That was too many ads. They just played like like six ads just now on this video. Uh-uh. <laughs> uh-uh. Anyways, anyways, what I was saying was today I am really excited because we're checking out Percy Jackson and the Olympians um, TV series. Episode one and two are currently uh, out right now. I did read all of the books, but I was in middle school <laughs> when I read them. So yeah, I mean, I can remember some things, but like the most that I remember it's the last book. The last book was actually crazy, by the way. Like, there was so much at stake. Like, I remember reading the book and crying. I'm like, yo, mom, this book is so crazy. <laughs> she was looking at me like, girl, I'm like, you don't even know. So I am familiar with the story, um, but it's been a couple years since I've read the book. So please forgive me if I am not someone that is easily able to reconnect things and make connection, you know what I mean? And I did watch all of the uh, movies as well. I will say the first one wasn't as bad. Like if you were to disconnect the whole entire like story, like books from the movie, I guess it wasn't bad. Um, like I feel like a standalone, it was fine the first movie, but I feel like once we moved on from that, I was like, yo, what what are we what we just created a whole different thing <laughs> that tends to happen when you adapt books into movies but just knowing that the author really was disappointed and sent them like emails and stuff like he does not like the movies at all and um, since like it's his work and like he was like that dissatisfied by it i was like ooh, that's kind of it's kind of yeah <laughs> so i i don't remember the last time i had seen the movies but it wasn't that long ago i feel like i feel like i can like remember things in my head from the movie so i may be able to connect some things or compare some things to the movies compared to the tv show which i know the author was heavily involved in um when it comes to the tv show so i have higher hopes i guess for this um, to feel more like the books, I guess. It doesn't have to be exactly like the books, in my opinion. I know some people are like, it needs to be to a T exactly like the books. I'm not that kind of person. Like, it's fine. I just like, as long as I can get the same feeling I got when I read the books, like, I feel like that's the most important thing, at least to me. Um, I know the biggest <laughs> conversation surrounding this show is the uh, obvious, you know, Annabeth doesn't look like how she is described in the book and as someone that did read read the books like i read the books like i know what annabeth is supposed to look like but at the same time i don't know like for me i'm going to be open-minded i'm going to you know watch these two episodes and see how it is and see how the actor is portraying annabeth as a character um and that's how i'm gonna judge it i'm not gonna judge it based off of so and so doesn't look like so and so you know because they would not have casted her if she could not take on the role and that's just how i feel about it you can have your own opinions um but that is mine and so that's how i'm gonna go about it also they're kids come on <laughs> they're kids like it's uh, anyway i've just seen some disgusting like comments surrounding that and it just makes me really sad like i have no faith in humanity bro <laughs> anyways so like i said we have episode one and two i probably will um put this in the same video for everybody to check out and so yeah i'm excited i'm so excited you guys like middle school me is like geeking out right now <laughs> uh the series is probably my favorite books to read um as a as a kid i was really into like the whole world of this so let's stop talking i'm sorry i just get really excited about things let's stop talking and let's check out episode one being a half-blood is dangerous most of the time it gets you killed so once you know what you are they'll sense it too Ooh. don't say i didn't warn you Ooh. Wait, that was strong. That was My strong. name is Percy Jackson. 
I'm 12 years old. Is this straight from the book? I feel like it is. Okay, what's going on? Why was I up there? I saw something. What'd you see? I could have sworn I saw something. Oh! Pegasus. It happened again. And again, and again, and again. So real one minute. And then the next. Gone. And then something changed. I met Grover. Grover! <laughs> Man. Ugh. Kids are so mean. <laughs> and you know what? It felt good to talk about these things with Grover. Until the day that changed too. Oh, I like this approach to it. I'm comparing it to the movie already in my head. You to choose one of the subjects you see here. Not just... Okay, they're showing us his, uh... Dyslexia. It's me. Mm -hmm. That's who you're named after. Oh, is that his um, mom? Yeah, okay. Not everyone who looks like a hero is a hero. Mm. Everyone who looks like a monster is a monster. Mm. You can't help it, Mrs. Dodds. Percy's special. That's enough. Right, dang. When you're ready to hear what the gods have in store for you, they'll tell you you'll be needing this. Ah. There's a mighty instrument. In the form of a pen. I get the Nancy's issues. I'm just getting tired of her taking them out on me. For real. For real. You could make an appointment to see Mr. Kane. She's really good I at I was talking thinking to more you. like shoving Nancy in the nearest dumpster. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Same. Same. Oh. One thing I know about bullies is that you should never, ever stand up to them. Well, stand up to them. But like, violence, no. <laughs> okay, maybe violence, yes. I'm just kidding. Don't, no. No, no, no. Whoa! Percy pushed me! He more like threw you with like powers, but um, yeah. Ooh, I love how like as soon as he used his powers, he got found. Oh, that's so dope. Oh my God. Oh! God, I love how it's happening right in front of everybody and they cannot see, which would make sense. Half blood. What? Whoa, come on, come on. Whoa. Okay, well that quickly ended as soon as it happened. Wait, I was expecting more of a battle. Give him some room, please. Okay, so. Where's Mrs. Dodds? No one here by that name. Interesting. I'm just gonna, I'm like, I know <laughs> if you're someone that's like, that's like really like knows the book to a T and can remember everything right now, do not watch this reaction. You might get annoyed by me, but I'm really just focusing on the movie because I, I can remember the movie. Um, and I love how they approach this whole scene here because in the movie, the first, the first one, it happened private, privately. Like he went into a room and then that whole thing escalated and it was very like intense like battle or whatever um and this happened literally in front of everyone um and no one could see exactly what was happening um and i kind of like like part of me was like oh i kind of wanted a battle but actually like i kind of like that they didn't showcase that right away but i thought that transition like from you know like um in the book did they say it was a mist or something i don't i don't know if a mist is correct like a mist between like what the humans can see it's a question i'm not saying that that's what it's called let me know <laughs> but um yeah i just like that approach to it and also i feel like i kind of feel for percy right now because like he sees these things and he knows they're real but like people keep telling him like they're not even like in this instance where he's like where they're like, uh, there's no one by the names of Miss Dodds. And he's like, bruh, um, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I'm pretty sure there is, but they're not telling him. And that's also different compared to the movie and how like they immediately go, okay, we got to get Percy to the camp half, half blood. You know, they immediately are like, we got to go. But it is a different, you know, way of going about it. So I like it though. Okay. I didn't touch Nancy. I mean, he didn't technically. Isn't there anything else you'd like to say for yourself? How about like talking to Nancy and how she's a bully? Mr. Underwood, do you have anything to add? Yes. 
I do. Percy had told me earlier in the day that he wanted to get back at Nancy for all she'd done to us. Go. Are you saying you saw Mr. Jackson assault Miss Bobo Finn? Yes. Okay, uh, what's the reason behind that? Maybe to keep him out of trouble or something? But, or, oh, maybe this is to get him into Camp Half-Blood Half and out of trouble. I don't need any more stories about how special I don't realize I am. This is my ride. I'm going home. I feel for Percy Loki. I feel like the show is making me really feel for how lost and just kind of like outcasted he really feels. I think I feel that more than I did it with the with the movie. Have you considered eating more fruit? Hey Eddie, sorry about that. I'm walking out. You're walking in. I should be apologizing to you. Honestly, we should call for help because like he's so abusive. Like you know what I mean? Like why did no one do that? <laughs> but it probably drew more attention to Percy, so. We don't need that, you know? So what'd you get kicked out for? Hmm? He said I attacked a kid on a field trip. Okay. <laughs> okay. What are we doing, Percy? Every time. Wow. I feel like I... He's still a jerk, but I feel like I don't hate him as much right now. He told me what he thinks happened with Nancy Bobo Fit. I told him I believe my kid. It was a real short call. Period. Is there something else you want to talk about? Something happened to me i'm scared oh oh my god oh my god this makes me really feel for um percy for real Percy and i are leaving for montauk make sure they put the hot peppers on my sandwich not please. if you're gonna ask like that i said please okay yeah like I i'm sorry if i keep comparing it to the movies i'm sorry but like even their dynamic is so like interesting because in the in the movie version like Sally did not talk back at all. She was basically like, whatever he wanted, she did. Like, I mean, she didn't love it, but like she like she didn't talk back like that, you know? Or like order him around. And he was way more like more of a like douchebag to her. So I feel like I really hated him um in that version. But this version, like, he's kind of just annoying. Like, you know, like I don't hate him. It's just like annoying <laughs> and a little rude sometimes but interesting okay take your shoes off before you get in my car you understand like, me what <laughs> he looking at me i'm like okay what the hell is going on who are you is that hades one two <laughs> <laughs> what does my dad have to do with this? He's Poseidon. He was unlike any man I had ever met before. Girl, you just got to tell it. Just spit it out. Because he, he wasn't a man at all. You fell in love with God? No. You were a half-blood. Dang. There is something wrong with my brain. But I'm afraid something may be really broken this makes me so sad. I know for certain that there is no such thing as demigods. Well, oh, here we go. Things have changed. This is all developing a lot faster than we anticipated. Whatever it is you're going to say, I don't want to hear it. This is legs. Grover, why is there half a goat in your pants? <laughs> um, <laughs> Ooh, it, it looks good. It looks good. She didn't tell you about. No, she didn't tell him a lot of things yet. We'll continue this in the car. Let's go. Saw some of it. The mist kept her hidden. The mist! I was right! <laughs> I do remember something. It's the veil that hides the magical world from the human world. Yeah. Here we go. Whoa! That looks good. Like, it looks so... Sally, I... Hold on! Oh, my God! Oh. Okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. That's the boundary. Okay, y'all. Stop standing there. We gotta go. I can't go with you. Why can't you? She's human. Yeah. <laughs> Grover's like, sorry. I'll let you have your moment. <laughs> You're gonna need to be brave now. You are not broken. Oh my god. You are singular. Oh! <laughs> Oh, that hit. That hit. Oh, my God. Oh, frick. 
This thing is, yeah. So if he smells you in two directions at once, maybe I can confuse him, buy us both a little time to get away. All right, Sally, let's go. Oh my God. Woo! I can't remember if she like died or something. So I don't know. We'll see how this goes. Okay, okay, so she, okay, 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 okay. Woo! Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool! Oh, that was so dope. That was so dope, that was so dope, that was so dope. The sword, like, is, like, lighting up and, like, in the dark. Damn! Woo! <laughs> and he did all of that without powers. Like, he just, like, he, he finessed that. You know what I mean? Ooh, let me see. Let me see. Welcome let me see. To camp, Percy Jackson. Let's go. We've been expecting you. It's at the end of episode one. Ooh. Oh, there's an end scene. There's an end scene. Um. Okay, let's just. Uh. Well, should we just skip to it? Oh, it's just like a foreshadow of what's gonna happen next. It's so important I get here because my father's a god. So I'm gonna go find him. Okay, wow. Um, the action is really good. I like really feel like the action for sure during that. Oh man, okay. I think like the um, biggest thing for me is actually how much I feel for Percy. I can, I can feel the frustration, the anger, the confusion the loneliness he feels so alone and it's so heartbreaking to me like when he was telling his mom i'm broken and in that scene there where she was like you are not broken you were singular like i don't know that was just it was just something about that that really hit me maybe i just have childhood trauma i don't know <laughs> but i was like yes that's right oh my god but i'm also just like trying to like imagine being like super young and then that being like thrown at me like imagine being like hey like you're a child of a god and <laughs> yeah you got a whole bunch of people coming after you now so get ready like i'd be like okay cool nice talk but um no <laughs> so like i don't i don't like fault him for kind of not believing it. it it for him to believe it right away would be more so like what you know but like he really questions it and also like even though he's seeing these things like with his own eyes he's also like second guessing it himself because he's like so many people tell him so many like stories and stuff and like it's gotten to the point where like he doesn't even believe what he's seeing anymore and like i said i don't really remember the book all that much um but i really like the small differences um but like how to how we got to camp half blood you know how we got to camp half blood and like instead of like after mrs dodds or whatever um like that happened instead of just going immediately to like you know um sally and being like let's go it was like a it was more so like they kept it pretty hidden from him it wasn't until like stuff really started hitting the fan that they were like okay we gotta go like we just gotta talk to him on the go or something that's when they started like kind of like picking it up there but they really held a lot of information back from him and his mom was starting to like you know tell him a little bit more but it was yeah i know this season is like eight episodes and it's gonna be a lot to like try to put in like eight episodes worth of you know all of this content so far so good so far so good i don't really have much that i'm concerned about or anything this feels really really good and like i said the biggest thing for me is i feel for percy I really do. <laughs> I really do. And I do remember the books making me feel for him a lot. But anyways, let's move on to episode two. This is about to be crazy. Annabeth is coming in. Let's go. I'm excited to see what Camp Half-Blood looks like. You know, the design of it. Did you see what happened to my mom? I did. Oh my God, you guys, this is... Oh my God, this feels so... Oh, those are the cabins. Ooh. Excuse me. I'm Percy Jackson. Uh, I'm new here. Peter Johnson is here. Bruh. That's Dionysus. What do you mean Dionysus? Like 
The God, Dinah? Yes. Yeah, wait, at this point, come on. I think my dad may be around here somewhere. Can you help me? Son. Dad? Yes, Peter. It's Percy. Exactly. <laughs> oh, Percy. This must be a lot for you to process. You're a horse. My father won't talk to me unless I get him a drink. Well, this all seems totally oh, normal. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like, that's not your father. I lost your pen sword thingy. Hopefully that wasn't your only one. Doesn't it like come back? Yeah, I was gonna say, doesn't it like come back? Check your pocket. Unless you surrender Ooh. it, it will always find its way back. 12 cabins. Mm. Each cabin is home Ooh. to the children that God has claimed. They haven't been claimed, Percy. What am I even doing here? There's no place for me here. There is a place for you. Hermes, god of travelers. Dang. Everyone. Wait, wait a minute. Everyone. Don't embarrass him. Uh. This is Percy Jackson. Dang, is that where he sleeps? On the ground, bro. I heard what happened to you on the hill. And I just, I don't know what you're going through. Is that Luke? Is that, wait, is that Luke? Is that Luke? The I'm scar should have gave. Oh, it's the scar should have gave it away. It's Luke. Wait, I felt the tingles. That was great. Okay, 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 okay. I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> Grover, what are you doing? Um. I went to the Cloven Council and they had actually heard of this happening before. And that when a mortal is really close to death, Hades himself can actually reach. I haven't told Percy anything yet. No. No one is going to tell him anything. Um. The truth can be very dangerous if it isn't handled carefully. So y'all just going to leave his mom in the hands of Hades? I suggest you steer clear of him then. Because you will say nothing. Do you understand? Let's tell them. Come on. Screw this. Y'all getting on my nerves. <laughs> Ooh, is that the like that's the light that he saw? I know how you feel. That has to be Hades. Intense recurring nightmares. That's normal here. Yeah. Why do they get to bring us here to just ignore some of us? That's a good question. The sooner you stop worrying about that, the sooner you can enjoy what this place actually does offer glory. Ooh. Demigod. I like Luke. Oh, uh, the actor. Oh. oh, hey. Yo. Knock it off, Clarice. Oh, that's Cla Clarice. Oh. Like you want attention around here, dummy? You better be ready for it when it comes. <laughs> <laughs> well, she seems nice. So they leave you alone because glory. So if I get glory, Clarice won't mess with me either. Exactly. Let's get some glory. I think it's interesting because like um, in the other version, uh, Percy's dad from the beginning, even though like he wasn't like Percy didn't know his dad, he was like behind the scenes, like still kind of like being there for him. Like, you know, like we see like the first thing we see is like Poseidon and Zeus talking about the lightning thing that, you know, got stolen or whatever. And like he sees like like visions of him here and there helping him get through some moments. It is almost kind of inferred in that version that like his dad's always been there. But like we don't see any of that here. So like we don't even know what Poseidon is doing around this time or they're not showing us or whatever. So I think that's interesting, an interesting perspective to go about because I do because it is true like the gods like. They really like suck as parents <laughs> for the most part, you know, I, I don't remember exactly if like I feel like Poseidon does care about Percy, but I don't know. I don't know the exact thing about it. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I forgot how it all played out. It's fine. Anyways, I just like that. I just thought that was interesting. <laughs> oh, God. Should I try again? No, no, no. <laughs> don't be like that. Don't be like that. <laughs> well since he is from a god of like since his since his father is poseidon shouldn't he try something with water <laughs> our turn our turn for what burnt offerings the gods like the smell so it gets their attention before you say a prayer huh 
You burn what you'll miss the most. And they know you really mean what you're about to say, so they listen. <laughs> well, the good news is, I think I've made some friends here. Yo, this show actually might make me cry. Like, it might make me cry. He's doing such a great job as Percy, Percy too. I'm gonna make him come down here. Oh. I'm gonna make him see me. Oh. I'm gonna make him see us both. Come on, Percy, come on. Interesting. He didn't really pray to Poseidon. He just talked to his mom. I thought that was interesting, too. Um. Hey, guys. Okay. Tell me you made it all up about the Minotaur. And I'll let you go. But he didn't, right? Oh, the water, the water, the water, the water, the water, the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. You should have brought him to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta be smarter than that. Come on, period. That was cool. I like that. I'm Annabeth. Okay. Are you stalking me, Annabeth? Um, yes. Oh. Well, I've been waiting to see if something like this would happen. So I'd know if you can help me. Help you do what? Win capture the flag. Okay, so we're gonna work together instead of opposite, like opposing teams. Okay. She's like, I gotta scope out what you can offer. One day, a demigod would arrive who was fated to go on a quest that even Chiron couldn't prevent. Every new arrival, Annabeth watches, looking for a sign they're the one. Mm. Let's go. This is serious. Like, this is not just a game. Always there will be no maiming and no killing. Don't don't y'all kill nobody now. Maybe I won't even need a sword. Let the games begin. You're gonna need that. You're gonna need that. Oh my god. I'm gonna need a sword. Yeah. <laughs> At least stay up on your two feet. Come on. Come on, Percy. I'm fine. Thanks. <laughs> Game on. <laughs> Those fade to blacks are a little jarring. I ain't gonna lie. Like, you know what I mean? I don't know if I love that, but I know we have to transition somehow. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Percy, bro. Percy, bro. They ain't already got you on the jump. Come on. Oh, shit. Revenge is more fun. Revenge for what? Because you couldn't get your little bully session in? Oh, my God, girl. Okay, Percy, I'm rooting for you, but it ain't gonna be pretty because you don't even know. Does her hating him have something to do with his father? I don't remember the reason. I just want you to admit you're a fraud. Bro, can you maybe think for a second that, like, not everyone is a fraud? This boy has been through hell and back. Hell and back. And just because you think he didn't do it, does like Percy is like the son of one of like the, the three don't they have like the three main gods, right? Um, not to say like there's not like like every god is powerful, but like Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades, aren't they the three? The top three or, or something? I don't know. It's it wouldn't be like it, like, it wouldn't be, like, unheard of for Percy to, like, have, like, pretty, like, intense and powerful powers, right? So, like, him killing that monster, is it really that hard to believe? I mean, I know, like, he didn't know that he was a half-blood and, like, he's never really done much. So, I can maybe see the hesitation. But, like, is it really, like, hard to believe, though, at the same time? Like, you know what I mean? And she saw what happened in the bathroom, so, like, girl... <laughs> Connect it, bro. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Woo. You guys suck. Get to the water, Percy. Get to the water. He dodging that stuff, though. Woo. 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 Percy, come on. Whoa. Holy shit. Did he just... Well, what do well, you expect, expect to happen? To happen? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, what's funny? We got it. Wait, was that literally like the, that was it? Like, like literally they used him as bait <laughs> for Clarice. Like that was what it was. Well, like they're fighting, like they got the flag. 
because like their biggest defense against the flag was too busy with Percy. Wow. I mean, smart. <laughs> Not bad, hero. She was there the whole time. Were you here the whole time? Yes. Why? Because she wanted to see. I'm sorry. Ugh. Ugh. She wants to see what happens if he goes in the water. She's waiting for something to happen. Yeah, yeah. I mean, she said sorry before she pushed him. Is he claimed? Did he get claimed? Your dad's calling. <laughs> you have been claimed yes! by Poseidon. Let's go! <laughs> Son of Poseidon. Woo! Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, there's our cabin. For months now, Zeus and Poseidon have been locked in a dispute over the master bull. Right. Who stole it? You did. No, he did it. We know who stole it, but like, we're not going to say it in case no one knows. <laughs> there is a third brother. Hades? Hades. It's Hades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good luck finding those guys because it ain't going to be me. Grover and Annabeth, come on. Poseidon has ignored me my entire life. You are. True. You will accept this quest. I won't. Damn. This is intense. Your mother was stolen by Hades. Well, I guess we're going to Hades now. I want you to go too, isn't it? Right. Let's go. Two on one. When do we leave? Let's go. Is this is the end of episode two. What? I don't know why I feel so excited. It's a pleasure to meet you, son of Poseidon. Is that Medusa? I'm Medusa. Oh! Oh! Medusa's scary. Yo, I love that. That was cool. Ooh. <laughs> okay, you guys. Okay, I do. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me calm down. I just really love this. I really love this series. So I just feel really excited. <laughs> wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Whew. Whew. Okay. So I think this is done really well. I, I know like the anticipation and everything. Everybody was like, you know, there was just... Yeah, people just weren't sure what to really think. Um, but I think after those first two episodes, I am down. I am down for this. Um, I'm really excited about, you know, all the potential characters coming in, Medusa, all the like, oh, I don't know. I'm just like really excited about it. And I really feel for Percy, like I mentioned before, but I just really feel for his for him and his character. And actor playing him is doing such a great job at portraying those emotions um especially like when they were like you will go on this quest and he's like i will not like he was like i can feel the anger and like i love how like even though like he got claimed by poseidon he was like my real parent is my mom she was the one that was there this whole time and i also and, and that shows just like how like like he doesn't forget like how his father has forgotten about him, you know? I feel like this version of Clarice, uh, instead of the version in the movies, is like so much more like, I feel like I hate her even more than like I ever really did. I don't, I don't remember hating her as much in the books, but then again, I don't, it's been a while. I mean, she was kind of like not the best person, but like at the same time, I don't remember her being super horrible, I don't know, but like this Clarice, like I'm out the box girl i want to see more annabeth i feel like we haven't really seen her that much even in this episode episode two where like they kind of teased her at the end of episode one um she didn't really have a ton of moments in here I, she barely was shown as much so i hope in the next episodes we see her a bit more um but yeah obviously she's probably gonna join this quest and i'm excited to see where that goes with that and the three of them that fight scene though between like percy and clary and clary's like he at at that point like i don't think he had any help from his dad um he was just like fighting for survival per se maybe he just has like really instinctive like instinctive survival to, uh, like you know like when you're under stress like you just like you fight like you've never fought before or i don't know if it's because like he's from like one of the three main gods like that he just in inherently ha has like insane abilities 
um to fight as extremely well but i i kind of like that like even though like he's the son of poseidon like he doesn't really like go straight to using water like you know what i mean like any instances that he does encounter water things do happen but i think it's like on accident it's not like he's going straight to the water in that way and i like how like we kind of noticed like the healing uh power power that happens in the other version like you can uh the way they showed it was that like he heard his father calling out to him and he went to the water and said annabeth pushed him in the water and was like let me see will you heal <laughs> like that was so cool i love that it was like her confirmation of believing like yep this is it this is the one so i'm i'm loving the characters it feels like i'm i'm reading the book again like it really does feel that way i mean obviously there's there's it's different because you know i'm not reading the book but at the same time i feel the same way i felt when i read the books you know and so that's what i was looking for um going into this i i wanted to see if i could feel that again like you guys the excitement that like courses through my body when something pops up and i'm like oh my god like you know like just seeing it all i just like really uh, yes <laughs> yes <laughs> i would love for this to get like multiple seasons and we get like the whole storyline because i'm telling y'all the last book is crazy <laughs> Yeah, I want I want to see like what Poseidon and Zeus and and Hades look like. Like, what do the gods look like? Um, I want to see what they'd be, like how they would look. So, anyways, we may or may not see. I don't know how these are releasing because they only released the first two episodes, which I think is interesting. So we'll see when the next come out so if you're on youtube watching this reaction um definitely leave a like and comment down below and subscribe if you aren't subscribed we have tons of you know dramas and tv shows we watch over here movies so definitely definitely subscribe for more content um if this does well and people are interested we will continue to um you know go about the rest of the season um full uncut will be over on the patreon um, if you guys want to go join us over there but uh i am just so itching to continue though that was amazing i kind of want to go back and reread the books because like i i feel so like annoyed that i don't remember everything it's been such a long time since i've read it so but the, I, I caught the mist thing though i remember the mist so i was like ooh. but um there's still just some things that i'm not remember remembering to a t obviously but yeah but yeah let, let me know your thoughts down below are you feeling this is, is there something sticking out to you that you're not really sure i think the only thing genuinely and honestly was there was like the fade to blacks or like the cut to blacks where it was like something would happen and then cut to black and we're on a black screen for like five seconds or so and then we move on to like a tr like a transition moment into something else i think it's a bit weird um i don't really love it all that much but i they don't do it often like often enough to where i'm like ah <laughs> you know so i guess like that that's the only thing i kind of was like hmm and they do have to fit a lot into these episodes because there's just a lot of material right but i still think they're doing a pretty good job at it for the most part and and yeah this is this is this is looking good so um leave your thoughts and your comments down below would love to hear your perspective on it once again i'm sorry if i don't catch everything i'm just someone that's really excited <laughs> for it and just kind of just you know wanting to experience it all for the first time so um that's gonna be it for me super excited for the next episodes i'm gonna go now and i will see you guys on the next one